What's going on guys? Welcome to our first Modern Cube Draft here on Magic Online. So Modern Cube, not as exciting as Legacy or Vintage Cube, but still uh, a beast of its own. I like this Stomping Ground. I also like Sphinx's Revelation, if we want to be blue-white Cheons. Maybe Condescend comes back. I don't know. Huh, huh, huh. Huh. Huh, huh. I also don't hate Cold Steel Heart. I don't know. This is a solid pick, though. I assume we have fetch lands in here. Let's go with Stomping Ground. We'll keep it open. Maybe we'll be Jund. Maybe with we'll Teamer. Fetid Heath. Oh, Terramorphic Expanse. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? I like Farseek and Jade Light Ranger, actually. Scatter to the winds. Interesting. Perilous Mirror. Hmm. I think Kolagon's Command, Jade Light Ranger, or Farseek are the picks here. I don't think I want to branch into Kolagon's Command just yet because we do have a, a third color. I think I just want to take the Jade Light Ranger. I think it's pretty good. How many modern cubes till we open a Jace? Well, considering they are not 50 tickets in modern, I am less concerned with that. But I still wouldn't mind opening a Jace in, in modern cube. Got yeah, Woodland Cemetery, got Zealous Conscripts. I was going to say early morning, Frank, then I realized I just woke up super late. All right, well, it is around, uh, it's around 1 p.m., so. I think I like Woodland Cemetery, Woodland Cemetery better than Canyon Slow. I think it's probably Woodland Cemetery here. I do think Conscripts is very, very strong. I'm going to take the Conscripts. We don't have a reason to be a black land. Scooby Dooby Doo, thank you. Scooby Dooby Doo, thank you so much for the uh, four month sub. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. This is a new addition, this Dire Fleet Daredevil. Um, I'm usually impressed with Master and Cube. I think we could take Master and feel okay with it. I like Sakura Tri Builder a lot. Hmm. These packs have actually been pretty good. Like, I don't feel bad about taking Tri Builder, Vivid Grove, Whisperwood, Lava Claw Reaches, or Sylvan Advocate. All of these are fine. I think we're going to go with Elder. It helps us fix. It also ramps us to, to bigger and better things. Vengevine. I don't think it's Vengevine. I think it's just like having a braid here. It's kind of like a mono red Kolagons command. Seems fine. I like Duplicant. I also don't mind... Uh... Oh, I like a Rootbound Crag. Pretty sure Rootbound Crag is the pick here. Burst Lightning and Stagger Shock are both fine, but they're not, like, super impressive. Um, Scavenging Use is a, a, a very nice, versatile card, but I think I just want the fixing here. Look at that. How did we land ourselves in red-green in our very first draft? I feel like I don't associate with the red green very much, so it surprises me. Canyon Slough, probably. What am I, a geographer? Oh, a sheltered thicket? Everybody wins. I like this Nickel Bolas Godfarer. That's a very strong card. We do have a Tri Builder. How greedy are we going to get? Sheltered thicket or Nickel Bolas Godfarer? <laughs> really, it shouldn't even be a shouldn't even be a question, right?
I went the safe route. I went the safe route. I don't like it, but I did it. Oh, God. I should have taken the Nickel Bolas. Could just be Ram Gang here. I like Wicker Bow Elder. We already have an Abrade, though. Not a big Oath of Nissa fan. I'll take the Ram Gang. Instant regret. You're right. I have uh, Buyer's Remorse. Drafter's Remorse. Wow, the Farseek came back? We should have taken the Blasphemous Act. Then we can Hornet's Nest. Then we get Hornet ne Hornet's Nest Blasphemous Act. Maybe we just want Hornet's Nest anyway. Hornet Nest. Not Hornet's Nest. I don't know why I keep saying Hornet's Nest. I guess because it's pretty obviously... Uh... I like the combos that are capable with this card. And I think we can get more Farseek effects. I'm going to take Hornet Nest. Because you've already seen Blasphemous Act and Earthquake, and if there's another card like that that we can possibly get, that's pretty cool. You used to be cool. <laughs> Matthew, you'll be uh, you'll be thrilled to see that this was added to the soundboard. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to bonfire. I, I I'd be fine with either of these other two, but bonfire is bonfire. What up, Pbert? What if we did lose the bolus every game in every match? Everyone had bolus, and we just lost to it every game. I'll take the card we can play. Oh, Pyroclasm and a Sylvan Advocate. Is this an O2? Yeah, it's an O2. I'm going to take Advocate. Oh, wow. Two, two four power haste guys? I think Hero's probably better than Vengevine. All right, what do we got here? Pia and Kieran Alar. Huntmaster of the Fells has got to be the pick, right? For our deck, we have Treetop Village, Huntmaster, Reclamation Sage, and Pia and Kieran. I think it's got to be Huntmaster, right? That's pretty okay, right? Yeah, we're taking Huntsy. We did not open Jace. I like Thunderbreak region a lot. Overwhelming Stampede, I don't like a lot at all. Could just be Golgari Signet though. Let's a splash and it also keeps us uh keeps us ramping. I like Region and I like Signet. Those are my picks. Ugh. Is Overrun just too strong for a cube even? I think Thunderbreak is very underrated. I think I'd just rather have the Signet, though. I bet Thunderbreak region comes back. So. Everyone knows. Cryptic command. Is this guy any good? Other black creatures don't care. The green creatures being up could make meh. Ferocidon could be the pick. This guy was too too broken for standard. What up, G Milk? It might just be Ferocidon. We kind of have like a, a an aggressive deck here. We got Jade Light Bogart. Haste guy, haste guy. Yeah, let's go with Frosted on here. Oh, man, I wish we had the stupid... Oh, man, we could add Blasphemous Act for our deck. And we could add Boros Reckoner. All 
Are we aggressive enough for Stromkirk Noble? I don't know. Could just be Collector Defiance. Probably is just Collector Defiance. Could also take Pulse and splash it off of Tri Builder and Signet. It's three black sources. I mean, I just like a uh, a red green planeswalker. I think that's fine. Yeah, we're just taking the red green planeswalker. Wooded Foothills. Pretty. Why is there out? Like, they just add advances blasting cannons. And I don't understand adding blasting cannons when you already have Outpost Siege in the cube. Right? Like, they, they, they fulfill the same roles, right? Like, they fulfill this four mana enchantment card where you get to exile the top card and play it. And I just don't understand this kind of redundancy in the cubes. Either way, we're taking Wooded Foothills here. Because if we get any kind of, uh... oh, Tireless Tracker seems great. Or maybe it's Sky Sovereign. That's interesting. I'm wondering if Sky Sovereign is good. It's got to be Tracker though, right? I like this Nissa a lot. I think this is one of the better Nissas. <laughs> so I think we're definitely taking this Nissa. Windswept Teeth also good, especially because it can get Shelter Thicket and Stomping Ground, but I think our fixing is pretty good for now and we could use more playables. So I'm just going to take this Nissa. Treetop coming back is pretty nice. This deck looks pretty interesting. I don't even know if we want Frosted on main deck, though. Like, we have... I don't want to be making, like, 14 Hornets with this thing and taking 14 damage or making extra tokens with this guy and this guy and this guy and then taking a million damage because of it. That seems bad. There it is. Thunderbreak Regent came back. Definitely playable. Um... I think you just take Stoke the Flames here. I don't care about Soul Scar Mage. Oh, Boros Reckoner comes back. That's pretty good. Might be Stromkirk Noble, though. Triple Red is probably not the easiest thing for our deck to get, but I think the potential is much better. Can you imagine if we had Boros Reckoner and Hornet Nest out when we Blasphemous Act and we just make like 13 1 1s and we deal 13 to the face? It's pretty good. I took Lightning Mauler there because I think we have enough 4 drops. Wow. Okay, Beast Within comes back. We are the only red-green drafter at this table. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. I think Rekindled Phoenix is great. I think Corsair of Crew Fix is great. I think it's almost comical that they have not fixed this Planeswalker bug yet. I think Worm Coil Engine is great. It might actually be Worm Coil because we have a lot of... Four drops, and we also have a lot of three drops. That is a beautiful chicken. You're not wrong. Worm coil seems very strong. You guys think Phoenix over Worm coil? I bet the Phoenix comes back. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Phoenix is coming back, calling it now, taking Worm coil. Crater hoof behemoth. Do that or Garrick. I think we could. I think. Oh man, Hoof is definitely better than Garrick, but Garrick is more versatile, more well rounded. 
We'll have chicken on the on the wheel. Chicken's coming back. Why do Hearthstone players get priority to play MTGA beta? Uh, I don't think they get priority. I think Crater Hoof here. I think Crater Hoof's the better card. Uh, Birds of Paradise seems great here. Like, it makes the cut 1,000% of the time. This Garrick will probably also come back, so let's be real. Sprawl seems good. I like Eternal Witness a lot. I like it better than Den Protector. I think it just might be Eternal Witness here. Smuggler's Copter is all right. I, I never like Smuggler's Copter that much, but maybe it's fine here. Maybe I'm undervaluing it. I'll take Smuggler's Copter. Kitchen Finks. Sweltering Suns. This pack's interesting. Viridian Emissary is interesting. We definitely have some good ways to splash black if we had it. Like, we can get a, uh, a black land for this if we wanted to. We could have bird. It's two. We got tribe builder. It's three. Signet's four. Basic swamp would be five. I'm just taking Finks here. I think it's better than the other guy, the Vir Viridian Emissary. Um, I think Thunderball Hellkite fits really well in this curve, so I can take a Thunder Thunderball Hellkite. Not really many other options in this pack, so I don't feel terrible about that. Uh, not the best Chandra. Rishkar's Expertise. Draw cards equal to base of greatest power. You may cast a card with five or less without paying its mana cost. I kind of like this. I, I'm kind of tempted to play this. We have 18 creatures. I don't think we're at any loss for creatures here. Um, I kind of like having this, like, card advantage way to draw, like, four cards with it, so let's try that. Uh, Dead Gone is pretty interesting. I don't think we're going to take Arid Mesa. We just don't need it. I'll just take Dead Gone. Chicken comes back, as we assumed. Also, like, Acidic Slime, but I think this is probably good. Probably better than Hero of Oxid Ridge, to be honest. Yeah, we'll just take Whip Flare. I actually like Prophetic Flame Speaker a lot. Chicken came home to us. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. I'm just going to take this Ulamog. Nah, we'll take Devil's Play. Look at all these red cards. We could probably be mono red. And we have a Boros Reckoner on the sideboard. Alright, so we need three cuts here. Ooh. I can cut Lightning Mauler. That guy's not super impressive. Why would he be playing standard when the cube is out? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't even know if this is a Crater Hoof deck, to be quite honest. I like Crater Hoof a lot, but... Take Sweltering Suns. Sure. Mono red cards. But, like... Do we have enough? Do we have enough... Mm, elves. Sure. Wow. Yeah, I was thinking of cutting Nesting Crater, actually. It's so funny. We took Crater Hoof. Yeah, I think this is the deck now. 
And I think it looks very good. Oh, uh, we don't have that much token generation, right? Like, we have... Not really. Arlen, these guys make one token, this guy makes a token, and that's pretty much it. I mean, we had Hornet's Nest, Hornet Nest, but like, if they don't actually, like, if if they don't actually, if, if Hornet Nest never gets damaged, like, we just don't get anything. I mean, Worm Coil makes tokens if it dies, sure, but I don't think we need to rely on Worm Coil's tokens when we like. I don't think we need to rely on Crater Hoof if we have Worm Coil, like so. Yes, Beast Within makes a token. Oh my God! Now you guys are just being real ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> all right no planes six six which is actually six seven which is actually one two three four which is actually ten eleven that's pretty good chickens make eggs all right well that's fair i can't really argue with that i want to go worm coil into rishkar's expertise and draw six and uh put a thunder mon to play for free can we live that dream Jesus. Oh my god. I guess Tireless Tracker does make a token. That's a good point. I, I didn't think about that for Crater Hoof Behemoth. Alright, let's do it. Your mom makes tokens. Hmm. All right, we can do this. I'm down to clown. Oh, opening on Oath of Nyssa. Okay, okay. Mom makes 01 onion tokens. Yeah, but they you have to sacrifice them if you ever leave the kitchen, so gets worse. Oh, that guy has to die. I feel like we just kill this now, right? I guess we can wait until they activate. Sure. I don't know if I know this person. I have no idea. I'll say hey. I'll give you the hey. Are you just going to attack here? You got it. Meh. We're still going to kill it. Chicken Finks. Thunderball Hell Chicken. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my god. I'm just going to play Tracker here. I'd rather use the mana, because if we draw another another land, I'd rather either play Master or I'd rather play uh, Advocate plus Copter. And we don't have lands in hand, so I'm not too concerned about them killing this before we get any value off of it. 
sure. Surely. Well, that's unfortunate. But we are going to kill your... Hmm. Okay, so I have two cards in hand. It's not bad. Buy that merch. Oh, what up, Willie G? Buy that merch. Oh, no, they're going to kill my tireless tracky. Not little tracky. Or they just kill someone advocate. Yeah, that's what I figured. If we draw another land, though, Thunder Mile Hellkite gets to gets to crush. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, watching Logan Paul get trolled on, so uh, I'm familiar. Hmm. Hmm. We could uh, we could uh, attack with this uh, treetop villaggio. Go block block. Block or block block. Actually, attacking with treetop seems good here. Come on, land one time. How greedy is this? I'm unsure. Not very. Not very greedy. Both at the Veil Cursed. Senor, Senor Veil Cursed. Buy that. March. Yeah, this is fine. Supper Mini. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Got to eat a few things. That feels good. What's an Ike Sandwiches? That sounds pretty good. Just because it has sandwich in the name, and I'm a big sandwich fan. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Sure. I got a beast within. I'm okay with that. Ooh, well, golden worm coil. We're just hoping for lands here so we can beast within. I mean, we're going to beast within anyway, but uh, we were just hoping for lands for land's sake, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah, I actually had a feeling there'd be no blocks here. Which is kind of nice. Buy that. Merch. It's getting awkward now. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. I will take zero damage. All right, so sword is problematic. We don't have any lands here. They put on the beast, it's a 5-5. Five, five. That's annoying. Hmm. 
I mean, Wormcoil would be great here, but we are land a land shy. Yeah, I actually do think it's Elder and Copter. Copter gives us an easy block. And we do get to get the worm coil mana for next turn. I don't think I mind discarding Ram Gang at this point in the game, so. Rootbound Crag Arena. Arlen Cord. All right. Cord, Feast, and Famine. All right. Well, that was... Yep. Something's happening. Wow. course that's the last card in your hand Welp that was good times I feel like Ferocidon could come in here. They're making a bunch of nerds. Maybe not, though. I don't know. I hear of Oxidrid seems good, though. Yeah, I feel like Ferocidon hurts us just as much as it hurts them. Like, the only reason their Ferocidon would be better against them is because we saw one Awakening Zone, which they might not even have. Like, otherwise, we're making... Like, we also have Arlen Cord, we also have Huntmaster. Yeah, we'll keep the sand. Sand looks great, actually. Turn 2 Nissa. That was a bonfire, tribe elder, hell kite. Seems good. Wow, I felt great about last game. Up until the point where they, uh, you know, had exactly overwhelming stampede and exactly a 5 5. But otherwise, real good. Oh. Turn 3 Regent seems good.
<laughs> oh, a turn two bird of paradise. I like Thundermaw killing this. That's pretty sweet, right? Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty good hand. Slash opening. Sure. Little Wolferino. Arlen, your face. Yeah, this feels pretty good. All right, that's the thing. Well, that game was better for us. Hmm. Tempted to bring this in because if they do have Overwhelming Stampede, we can bounce their biggest guy and make it pretty underwhelming. It's probably better than Collective Defiance, to be quite honest. But that does. This is able to kill Planeswalkers. Most of the Planeswalkers we've seen of theirs, this would be able to kill. We can go to 41 and add uh, Dead Gone. It also kills everything else from like Bird Paradise to um, Jiraga Tree Speaker. So. It seems pretty okay. Sand seems pretty good. Garrick Relentless. Well, now we have to kill this. All right, seems good. Uh, Signet can go in the graveyard. And we draw land. All right. It seems very good. XC Blaze, four months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Awesome. Good seeing you, buddy. Long time. If I can find a way to kill your wolf. We found a way to kill your wolf. Now I get to eat your Garrick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So dead gone for a Garrick. That seems pretty good. Um, I actually like Tri Builder here. Drawing three and putting in a Wild Hunt Master next turn seems very good. 
pernicious dude i believe you i believe you i trust in your in the honor system the subscription honor system oh good goody Oh, we're going to have to deal with that. Huh. <laughs> I think we wait till this is on a million and then we just steal it, right? Actually, I guess we can play this next turn. We can just play Master and Sylvan Advocate here. That seems better. Now we draw four. So long as these guys survive and they don't play something like Wrath of God, Oracle of Moldiah. Oh, Immortal Sun is very good. That flips immediately, which is pretty nice. Hmm. I guess it's chicken here. I mean, it's just better to activate Master here, right? Blood Braid Elf on the top. Okay, so Immortal Sun in hand. Sun. Don't have a reason to kill Oracle if they don't have a land on top. Make a dude. And now we can never care about Elspeth again. Seems good. I guess we should have killed something in response. We can kill the bird. Seems fine. Should have waited on that land. Then we could have flipped Nissa.
I guess actually we can, oh, we can still do that though. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Could have put them to one. Alesh Norn on top is pretty good. We have a bonfire on top. Don't swing it, Elspeth. It, it just goes, it puts them to one. Or it puts them to, yeah, it puts them to one. So it doesn't really make a difference. And like, I'd rather just get it off the board in case they have a way to deal with Immortal Sun or in case we have a way to deal with Immortal Sun. So. And good game. Make a wolf that dies. I will reveal this. The Boostwig, how how you doing, buddy? Thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. Eh, we'll go. We'll say eight. Kills everything. Seems good. Good games. Our deck seems okay. I don't think I like uh... Bogart Ram Gang. Seems pretty bad in our deck. I think I liked. Uh... This is probably better. I'm also not sure about Smuggler's Copter. I wanted to believe, but I don't think it's that great. <laughs> he is already, already dead. dead. You're right. Why no elves? Um, we already have Screw Tribe Elder, Birds of Paradise, Golgari Signet. I don't think we did that many ramp spells, and it's I don't really feel like taking damage every single time. I don't know. Off-color elves don't really... I'm not a big fan of off-color elves, so... Uh, this is round two, yes. Oh, yeah, we'll keep this. I don't like having bonfire, but I do like having three mana. I also don't play that much Paper Magic, but I'm starting... I'm tempted to, to do so with Dominaria because the set looks pretty sweet. Like, it's just a super exciting-looking set. This is so much better if we hit any, any land. If we hit a green, we can play this. If we hit a red, we can play this. We didn't hit neither, but we can still play Kitchen Finks. So that's that's a thing, I guess. And then they get to counter this? I don't know. Wow, they do get to counter it? Wow. Sure. Would you say amber is the color of its energy? Mm 
Oh, they're missing two land drops. Oh, man, I'm awful. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Can I get them lands? Oh, land and an abrade? I'll put a braid into the graveyard. More like the abrade yard. Ha 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 ha. That wasn't that funny. I apologize. Oh, look at these abilities triggering. Smuggler's Copter, you too good for your own good. That's a good dude. I'm going to pitch bonfire here. Oh, Jurassic Park color. I like it. Because Grant's like me. He's a digger. What up, Chris? Do you want to see my chicken? Nope, that's not going to do it. Man, we got manatized, and we're still getting them. Do we play beautiful chicken or lizard chicken? We went with lizard chicken. All right. All righty then. It's from Ace Ventura. I don't know if you guys remember that movie. Ace Ventura. You guys remember Ace Ventura? He was a pet detective. This is probably not great in this matchup. I don't know. I think I'd rather just have all the hasty idiots. You're a hasty idiot. You're a hasty idiot. You got a lizard chicken, Hattie. <laughs> I'm a fan. Oh, this hand looks good. It looks weird, but it looks good. A mountain? What fresh hell is this? You're going to kill my bird immediately? No. No. All right. Close to immediately. Give me one land so I can play this master of the wild hunter, this rekindling phoenix. It's actually pretty okay. Oh, you're going to manatize me again, huh? No? Actual counterspell? Oh, that's good. We get this back. God, I love spell queller on things. Mountains is my favorite. You're right. Just the best. Oh, I see. Fascinating. Hmm. Well, tempted a beast within you. Beast of the Thing of Johnny is probably better, though, right? Nice. Well, 
Well, now I'll bring in the removal again. This is getting annoying. Oh, you just dealt me one, huh? Oh, water grave. What in the hell is going on? Hmm. Well. I have two cards, so I guess we're hoping they can't kill our master. Take five here. And they can. They always can. That's so nice of them. I feel like we're dead here. All right. Did they over... No. Okay. Well, I guess we can go to the next game and uh, see how that goes. Now I feel bad about boarding out all this uh, these removals. You're going to come back in. You can probably leave. Hmm. Stoke the flames? Are you any good? A braid is probably good enough. We'll just go 41. I like 41. I actually do like Reckoner. It's fine though. Uh, keep this hand. All right, let's do it. Oh my goodness, God. Let's get this thing. I like them starting on double red, I'll be honest. That's a good feeling. It does not seem ideal for them. And we also got hero. We need a hero. Wow. This guy. They put both cards on top. That's pretty interesting. Oh, an old rugged prairie. Here comes the old lightning helix pump. You ready? Ready! No. No lightning helix. Post-combat lightning helix? <laughs> Probably just want this guy, right? Sha -na 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 -na. Look at all my things that I'm doing here. 
Lots of clues. Pass. I say nay to you, good sir. That was a good deal. Double white. Here we go. This seems fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay. But excuse me. You don't know my life. Yeah, I don't want to run expertise out just yet. Because they could have uh return they have dead gone, so they can just bounce our guy in response, which is pretty bad. Excuse me. Did the opponent miss one point of damage? Oh, by not attacking first? I think so. Good times. Also, if we played Risk Cars Expertise, they'd probably just do. Yep, see, that's what they do. That's what they would do. So next turn we can still draw four. Oh, they had one mana left floating for Manatide. We should have actually... Uh... Are they just going to Manatide this? Wow, we could have played around this in several different ways. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, that's pretty fine. Rishkar into Hero of Oxid Ridge into Kill Your Guy. Yeah, okay. Okay. Are you winning? Are you winning? I think today was a win. All right. I think you're a win. You ever think about that? No, I hadn't. Yeah, and you never will. What does that mean? I'm going to draw four. Ooh. Can we zealous conscripts and do a thing? No, we're just gonna wait till that's. I guess we're not. We're not gonna take this, right? No. It doesn't do anything. What does that do? Nothing. What do you do? Nothing. Wow. 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 You, you got wrecked. That was pretty hero oxid ridge. Yeah, that guy's pretty pretty good. Oh, we got battle cry. So actually, I only have to attack with this. Oh, that's pretty good. I thought I would have to attack both of Chandra. Now I what just. What do you have... get manatized? Last turn. Oh, what? Smuggler's Copter. Oh, that's not so bad. Nah, ain't nobody care about that. But excuse me? Uh, Chandra and your face. Battle cry. You don't want to risk it for the biscuit and let her get to seven? <laughs> uh, it's tempting, but I don't want them to draw two cards a turn. So I am going to decline. Mike, you'll never believe this. Frank took over your stream while you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sleeping. Yeah, Mike was actually out and about today. He was living his life like a productive member of society. At a, at a fresh 11 a.m. Woo. I didn't know, you're, I didn't know your, your clock even went to that time. I also have to get up tomorrow for the same time. Got a phone interview. 
for a wow. different job. Mizia Mortars and Whip Flare. Whoa, man. You're killing it. How about this? And then how about one of these? That's an avocado. Could have also played avocado and attacked for with Treetop Village. Put them to two. All right, we'll just win the match. That seems good right. too. We are currently oh, too bad. low. Let me see that deck. Now see the spicy, spicy meatball. Looks pretty aggressive. This guy's been real good every time. I feel like we just want him in the main. You're deck. not playing him main. What's wrong with you? Lots of things, man. No smuggy. Smuggler's copter. I'm never impressed with it. It's always like, eh, it's okay. You need a low curve, and you don't have that low curve. You don't have like a low three curve. Guys that can activate it. Don't you talk about my curve, you pervert. This guy could be good. Huey Lewis step? Not the Huey Lewis step. I don't know. Is that where you only draft the heart of rock and roll? That's that's the Huey Lewis step right there. You just have to sing Huey Lewis the whole time. Oh, okay. You guys owe me a step. It's okay if it it isn't the slap step. I have a new one. You draft play normally, but you have to listen to The Power of Love by Yui Lewis in the News for the entire duration of the drafting and games. That sounds terrible. I can't I can't actually condone that. And unfortunately, rip YouTube if you do that. Yeah, I can't get then the videos can't go on YouTube. So then it's just the the step gets wasted. That's really good though. That's actually pretty hilarious. I feel like there's a hair floating around my face somewhere. I feel like it's hot outside today. Is it? Yeah. Hot today. Hot yesterday. My phone says... Phone says 81. That ain't terrible. Oh, we can just listen to it on headphones. Oh, that sounds amazing. Um, I don't know about amazing. It's just over and over for like, that's two hours of the power of love, dude. Better draft an aggro deck so we can get it over soon. I feel like I was just playing Back to the Future the entire time. If that was a game. You know, Back to the Future the game. There's probably some terribly licensed game for that movie. I'm sure there, yeah, there actually definitely was. I'll keep this. If we can if we can draw a Golgari Signet or a Sakura Tribelder, I'll be really glad. A foot of snow. That ain't okay. How many red green decks? Our first deck was a red green deck too. Ooh, lightning roller. Give me a land. Any land will do. Except for sheltered thicket. Any land in the deck other than sheltered thicket. Hey, that's pretty good. I actually don't think I want to pair these. I'd rather just pair this guy with the wild... Uh, that seems better, right? Mm-hmm. No. Yes. God, that Niss is so good. 16 degrees in Fargo today. Good Lord, man. How does that even work? That's too cold. And we're complaining about 80 degrees. Woo! If you're getting a forest off that, I'm unimpressed. That's pretty boring. Boring! Oh, an Ancestral Vision, eh? I don't think we pair this either, actually. Because we don't have any wolves. So, I was thinking we'd have wolves. We, we can just pair it with the Thunderbird dragon. region. Yeah. yeah. How to pair your dragon. Another day of sun in LA. Like you do. Now oh, you're going to kill my master now, aren't you? Eh, that's fine. We get to kill your Chandra. That's a fair trade. <gasps> I think we're just going to do that. Seems decent. I 
guess we could have done it for two, right? And then played a Kitchen Finks. No, we'd have had to do... Yeah, we could have done it for one. That was pretty bad. I'm not a good player. I thought we were going face there, but I forgot we were redirecting to Chandra, and they both had one, so we could have actually just went it for two and then played Kitchen Finks. That's pretty stupid. Really? That will never flip. It's negative one here. Finally starting to warm up. Whoo! If that's warm, I don't want to be cold. I don't want to be cold. Put on a happy face. Mike B is gonna cheer, clear up, cheer up. That's a song I wrote about Mike B cheering up and clearing up. Cheering and clearing. That is what I do. Um, yeah, we're just gonna attack for four. Make you deal with this floating beauty. You can't pair your dragon. You have to let them find the one on their own. Alright, that's fair. Wow. That's pretty good. We're going to kill it. So It's too bad. Yeah, four to this, three to you, and then you're dead, right? Uh, two modes. Four to a creature, three to an opponent. Choose a creature, choose an opponent. One, two, three, four. I will take three. And you'll die. You'll, you're dead. I wish we had a Rift Sweeper so we can shuffle this bad boy back in the deck. We won the game. Man, they got Progenitor Mimic and Phantasm Image. Woo! They're cloning all day, son. They are cloning all day. Cloning all day. Cloning all night. Cloning for a fight. That doesn't make any sense. We're just going to submit like this. I don't think we're uh Lizard Chicken? Yeah, you know Lizard Chicken. Yeah, that seems fine. I think I do. It's the one we just won the game with. Wow, it's currently three hundred negative three hundred and fifty seven degrees Fahrenheit on Uranus. That's pretty insane. Can you imagine buying property there? I bet it would be expensive. I bet it would be cheap because no one owns it. Can you own anything in space? Are you allowed to? Please. I own everything in space. Huh. Yeah, you didn't think about that one, Must did you? Be smart a guy? wealthy man. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> Because I don't know how this whole thing works. Alright, that was a good draw. I like a wooded foothills. Not to be confused with wooded snoot hills, which is a completely different thing. You're right. Oh. Hey, Mike, let me ask you something. Okay. Where the products at? Online. Well, I gotta take a shower and come back and Sober Robert is here. <laughs> Was it Nissa for two? Dang. Nissa for four, huh? Okay. Okay. Mike B, is that your alternate art swamp shirt? Yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. The average temperature of Mike's girlfriend's heart is negative 357 degrees also. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's amazing. I would say cold as ice, but it's actually colder than ice, so. You're colder than ice. Wow, we just drew two lands with that. Sweet to two one, and now you just gotta discard a card? Boy. Wow, look at this. Look at this magic that's happening here. They're not really doing anything, though. Bonfire. It's not a bonfire at all. That's like a that's like a an anti bonfire. Oh, that's my anti bonfire. 
Go ahead. You know you wanted to make the stupid joke. Maybe. Maybe. God, they're getting another land? How many lands do you need, man? My life is just a series of sphincters. <laughs> oh, dear God. Willing to sacrifice our love. Can a dude get one mountain off his deck? Are you going to progenitor mimic and copy my master of the wild hunt? Oh, do you progenitor mimic and copy? Oh, you're just going to cone of flame my entire board. That's I good. I see. We're all very proud of you. Yeah. This Nissa is actually pretty annoying. Oh, I see. That is a good one. I'm not amused by your shenanigans. I'm warped. It's got to be a den protector, right? Maybe. Okay. Well, I don't like the idea of them getting Cone of Flame back. I also don't like the idea of just wasting my turn using that, so I guess we'll just play a chicken. I don't know why... How many days has it been? It's, if it's been longer than 15 days, isn't the Fortnite up? <laughs> oh my god. Just amazing. Yep, look at that. It was a den protector. Get back Cone of Flame. Exactly what we thought. And we're going to murder our chicken. And we're dead. All right. Well. Well then. Well then. They were going to murder our chicken. This seems bad. This seems good. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, Dad. Whatever. Maybe we can just draw better than that. Hmm. Impossible. You say impossible? Mm-hmm. Don't you mean unpossible? Yes. Keep. They didn't mulligan? God, they haven't mulliganed once. This is so oh, unfair. They got werewolf planeswalker? Yeah. You know, werewolfy. I almost want the sheltered thicket here just so I don't have to draw that stupid tap land. It's probably better to get that. You're better to get that. Wow. Get wrecked.
Oh, nothing? Oh, I like it. Oh, that might be better. Probably not, though. Um, top. Top again. That's real good. Fourth round turn three with a tireless tracker that can come into play and we can make a clue immediately. Is it called Beautiful Chicken? Yeah, it's called Beautiful Chicken. The uh, the rekindled phoenix is Beautiful Chicken. Wow, if you just made that up. Kill the land? <laughs> you mean like Beast Within? But excuse me? You are beskused. I'll beskuse you. Pretty sure it's just Tracker here. I would like it if you beskused me. I don't feel good about their situation here. Oh, you get back your sheltered thicket, huh? Okay. So much value. That is a lot of value. I didn't even play the sheltered thicket? What a maniac. Did we just play Nyssa and Bird here? Or we can just attack for like a million with Arlen Cord. But I kind of want to hit land drops here, especially with the Worm Coily. Yeah, we're just going to do this. And we get another clue. Eight? Yeah, that's real scary. For them. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Hugh, 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 Uh-oh. No, I don't care about that. You care a little bit. Not even a little bit. You gained five life. That's kind of a lot. You know how many I gained with the Worm Coil Engine, bruh? Six, maybe. Maybe. So five, six, seven, we can make this a... Yeah, we'll just make a wolf and flip you. She can deal three to their face, right? So we can deal seven to their face right now? That's pretty good. Seven to the dome piece. I like a good dome piece. Frank, we should do a step where if it's the chicken in the pack, you have to take it and Mike B wears a chicken suit for the giraffe while eating a bucket of KFC. Not bad. Not, not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, see, this could be annoying, but... We got a beast within, so I'm not terribly concerned. But yeah, otherwise you'd probably win the game. Well, like sucky tribe elder. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Aggressive. Different arts. Hmm. No, oh, one is from, I don't know what that's from, and one is from, I don't know what that's from. <laughs> Just kidding, I know what they're from. <laughs> Creatures can trigger plus one, plus one, and gain trample until end of turn. Mm. That seems pretty good, actually. We just flip her? Yeah, we flip her. 
Look at all these things I'm doing. Ooh, there's so many things happening. I feel like we can just pass here. Maybe? Let's trade here. That's dumb. I mean, assuming they don't have bonfire for like four, I think we're okay. So was that nine mana? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or Mizium Mortars. Yeah, Den Protector seems really good here. It's obnoxious. Also obnoxious. This guy really likes playing Zwag Dusk. You're not wrong. Remember that time we had him at like 8 life? Yeah, now he's at 23. That was a good time. We have a lot of cards, though. Like, if we can actually get her to a million, it's pretty good. I don't think you play land, right? No. Yeah, we gotta... Yeah, no, we haven't. So we used you. Pump all the dudes. Pump up the jams, as it were. And we're going to stoke the Mimic once he gets it in play. I can't imagine attacking here. They just have too many things. You attack with a bird for one. I was, I was thinking that. You got to do what you got to do, man. This emblem seems insane, right? What does it do? Uh, you get an emblem. Creatures you control have haste and tap. This creature does damage equal to its power to target creature or player. Oh, that seems very good. Yeah. Yep. So now they have sheltered thicket still. I haven't played that. So they have mimic and thicket. Mimic and Thicket. That's what that's what the kids always say. No kids say that. I've heard them say it. Let me guess. Thrag Tusk? <laughs> okay. Well, that's worse. I had not considered that for some reason. Well, we're going to have to find a way to get rid of that thing. I don't think there's one in the deck. We got ways. Okie dokie. There's one. A braid. It's a lot of uh, a lot of three threes you got here. That's not the bed.
No. Let's get another clue. One, two, three, four. We can regent. Pair with lightning mauler. Do we want to do that though? I don't know. I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have eight blockers and they have eight guys, so. Ah, uh, but we can stoke the flame something, but they could also kill something too. And I think keeping. I think making sure we can do this emblem next turn is probably how we're going to win, so. And right now we can still stoke the flames. What just happened? What are they doing? I don't know what happened. Elder Deep oh. Fiend. Wow. <clears throat> That's amazing. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Well, I guess the exact turn we were in Arlen Court, they got another Deep Fiend. So that's pretty sad. We still have Worm Coil Engine? I don't know. Oh, let's see what else you got. Oh, you're just going to cycle that. Okay. Well, that's annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. So five guys are getting through, which means they're probably going to lose all of our creatures, or all of our planeswalkers. But they do have the alpha to do that. They can attack with five guys to make sure one of them gets through. But then one of them wouldn't get through because we have Stokes. So they got to attack with six guys. A lot of things going on here. Like, they kind of have to kill Arlen Cord here. Oh, boy. Do we just get the block? Oh, dang it. Wow. Aggressive blocks here. Or attacks, rather. So they're all going to Arlen Cord? Might as well block something, then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can block four and kill one. Hmm. We have to draw like a million cards. One card. You have one card in hand? What the hell is going on? Did I kill Worm Coil? Sure. Kill a clue? That's an interesting choice. I'll just crack that clue. That was a weird choice. I agree with you. I also have a hunt master, apparently. Okay, so... That's pretty good. That is not it's not bad. I 
So five for Thunder Maw, two for Advocate, one, two, three to activate land. So they have one, two, three, four, they have five blockers. They'll block here, 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 here. Not gonna block here, I guess, because it's too big. It's too big. You can't block a flyer anyway. You can't block a flyer. Wow. Yeah, why do you why do you set yourself up for these brutal beatings? He already got haste. He do got haste. So what if we go advocate for two? One, two, three, four for... Well, I guess we can't do both. That one I will pair. Do I? What do they block? They can block five things, right? So they block the biggest guys, which is one, two, three. Advocate. Four. So one, two, three, four, five, right? So they take one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Eighteen. We gain six. I think it's just better to keep the mana up for either one of these two, depending on what happens. That <sighs> seems okay. Embranium hurt him. <laughs> So nine, we got a lot of things. There's a lot of things happening right now. They have no cards in hand, and we have three clues, a Planeswalker, and two cards in hand. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It's okay, boss. Fifty-seven Cadbury Cream Eggs. Wow. Fifty-seven, huh? It's pretty good. Oh. Oh. do 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 Oh, is this your blocks? Block here, block here, block here, block here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 gets through? Sure. All right. I actually feel fine, like, not playing anything else here. Mm, activated you. Yeah, we're good. Dead sites, that is the question, my friend. And we have bonfire on top? Oh, baby. That's pretty good. I don't know if we do, but let's say we do. Let's will a bonfire to the top. Frosty the snowman. Why are we stoking EOT? I don't understand what's happening right now. They drew a card and they're playing it and it costs a lot of mana. Card's pretty good. That's a great top deck. Do 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 do. Gonna get my worm coil engine, but I think you're still dead too. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, tell them twelve, thirteen. That's lethal. I don't know if you knew that. Okay, you got it. Uh, 
we'll stoke you with this guy. This guy. You have like nothing to do. You have literally nothing to do, right? Frosty the mic B. There it is. Should have just left it. So I just crack back for nine, right? Good games. Not even going to attack, right? I don't think this is for nine, so. You can stay home. Get him. Get him. You <laughs> 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 Perfect. You guys can thank Elk Tears for that bad boy. I enjoy a 3-0 on our first uh, Modern Cube. Man, Arlen Corp is pulling pulling her to wait. Oh, you missed the draft. Can you peek the deck list? I don't know how to show it to you. When we're yeah, once this match is over, we'll show it to you. I don't know what the You can see the sideboard. Oh, I don't care if we only win 50 play points. Like, I, I just want to keep... I just want to go infinite. So as long as I 2-1 two, two, or 3-0, oh, I'm totally fine with it. Don't mess up. What did you say? Don't mess up what? Just don't mess up. I won't. I was wondering what they're waiting for. They said good games, so I don't think I don't feel like we're on bad terms, right? I don't think you're mad at me. I just wanted to jump in another queue. Maybe they forgot. What did they forget? Everything. Maybe they forgot everything. I guess that makes some sense. Makes in sense. I don't know. What I, I don't know what I said there. I don't know how it makes in sense. I don't. Like Hey man, what are those two soundboards? What? what? Which Next to Larry David. This one? Mm hmm. And the other one? <laughs> yeah, that would have been good. That would have been good. That was, uh, that was well, well timed. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I guess it was a massacre. Uh, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. He will too, maybe. Who knows?